Sir Alex Ferguson has been rushed to hospital where he has undergone emergency surgery for a brain hemorrhage, Manchester United have confirmed. The legendary Red Devils boss was reportedly taken to Salford Royal Hospital, with a police escort, after he was initially taken to Macclesfield District Hospital. Manchester United released the following statement today at 8 p.m., Sir Alex Ferguson has undergone emergency surgery today for a brain hemorrhage. The procedure has gone very well but he needs a period of intensive care to optimize his recovery. His family request privacy in this matter. Ferguson's son Darren Ferguson was forced to miss Doncaster's final game of the season against Wigan as news emerged of a severe family issue. A statement from the Yorkshire club read, Rovers manager Darren Ferguson will not be at Saturday's game due to family reasons. Gavin Strachan will oversee the final game of the Sky Bet League one season in the manager's absence. Darren asks for privacy and will provide an update through the club during the week. Ferguson was recently at Old Trafford, where he watched Manchester United's 2-1 win over Arsenal on Sunday, April 29. He shook hands with Gunners boss Arsene Wenger, who has announced he will be leaving at the end of the season after 22 years in charge, and handed him a gift. The pair then hugged on the touchline. After the game, Wenger said, it was very nice, classy and I enjoyed it. I have come here for a long long time and next time someone else will sit on the bench and get a hostile reception don't worry. It's surprising because it's not what always you imagine but life always goes on and sometimes it gets better. Ferguson also took Pep Guardiola out for dinner last month to congratulate him on Manchester City's Premier League title success this season. The Spaniard has enjoyed a stunning league campaign in charge of Manchester City, winning England's top prize as early as mid-April. The Scot twice came up against Guardiola in Champions League finals, in 2009 and 2011 but on both occasions the Spaniard led Barcelona to victory. However all rivalry, and the fact he's now manager of United's so-called noisy neighbours, was forgotten as Ferguson treated the 47-year-old to a meal. Ferguson was Manchester United manager for 26 years before standing down after winning the Premier League in 2013 and becoming a director and ambassador for the club. The Scot won a whopping 38 trophies at the helm of the Old Trafford club including 13 league titles and two Champions League crowns. At the time Ferguson said, the decision to retire is one that I have thought a great deal about. It is the right time. He also wrote the following in his 2015 book leading, Now, after a lifetime of getting ready for work at 6 in the morning, I like waking up at 8. Having breakfast with Kathy, which I had not done for 30 years, reading the paper, and going to have lunch in the village. I suppose retirement, for some people, can be like bereavement. Immediately after you retire there are lots of things to do and plenty of people around. Normally, after the players had disappeared at the end of the season. I would be in my office at Carrington every day until we left for our annual holiday in France in early June. In 2013 I found there were other things that filled my time. There was a fair amount of press attention after I retired, and I was helping to put the finishing touches to my autobiography. After that the summer got chewed up, with a pair of notable firsts, one more pleasurable than the other a boat trip up the coast of western Scotland, and a stint in the hospital for a hip replacement.